Hi, we're here with Patricia Witter in her teaching lab. Do you have a few minutes for us to ask you some questions? Sure, sure, come on in. It's really kind of heavy, you wanna hold it? Sure. Doesn't that feel like a weapon? We're celebrating Women's History Month. Is there a woman scientist or engineer who inspires you and why? Oh, I think my favorite woman scientist would be Maria Montessori, who was one of the first women to go to medical school in Italy. Uh, but what I really like about Maria Montessori is how she, uh, based on her observations, she developed an entire theory of education on how we learn, particularly in the infant and early childhood. And she uh, approached that in a very scientific way uh, by following the children's behaviors and observing them, making careful notes. She developed uh, a, a lot of theories that make a lot of sense and have never been proven otherwise. They've only been supported as we learn more about how the brain develops and how children learn. Before you came to Wash U, you started out in industry. How did that impact your career? Oh, I think it was a great way to come into teaching because I was in industry for a while. You learn a lot of different other kinds of skills um, that you can bring forward and um, now you have very practical stories to tell uh, the students as you know how they can apply what they learn and how it might affect them in their futures and, and what people are doing with the things that they're learning right now. What's your favorite spot on Wash U's campus? So, well, my very favorite spot that's in here, I love my lab. Uh, there's all the fun things to do in here and the students come in and we work and talk and have a lot of, a lot of good times and a lot of learning. Um, if it's just me, I love the living wall over in um, the architecture building. Um, it's so quiet and peaceful and all the green plants in there. It's beautiful. What's your favorite place to eat in St. Louis? Oh, St. Louis soup dumplings, I think. It's just something completely different. That's all they do, just soup dumplings. It's wonderful. What piece of advice would you want to go back and give yourself as an undergraduate student? Uh, that's a really good question. I was the kind of student that was so focused on on getting everything just right that I memorized a lot of things that I shouldn't have memorized and I should have focused more on understanding. Can you quickly explain what biomedical engineering is? <laughs> That's, I can explain quickly, I don't know about that. Um, biomedical engineering is the integration of many other elements of engineering, mechanical, electrical, and chemical, uh, all brought together to focus on human health. If you weren't an engineer or educator, what would you be? Oh, I'd be a librarian, for sure. I, I love libraries, always have. Uh, I love to learn new things. I like to help other people learn the things they want to know about. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars, yeah. It was the first movie I ever saw in a theater, was the first Star Wars. What does representation in the science and engineering community mean to you? I think it's important to get all the voices in science. Um, you know, I, it's, it's everyone who who has ideas and, and contributions, which is everyone, um, you know, should be here and can be here, and we can all collaborate and make something amazing.